Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Nightfall, which is the Glassway. Again, I'm going to be doing this on Legend because you can get your 100k solo relatively easily on Legend. As you can see, I'm using the Titan and I will be using uh, Bubble, uh, Ward of Dawn. Uh, you can see I've got the Crate Auto Rifle. That will be obviously for my uh, Overload uh, champion mod that will be the weapon I'm using if I need to stun an overload champion with the weapon I have got overload grenades on as well though uh, I'm using under your skin uh, I really like that bow I got it with explosive head and it's got land tank on it void weapon obviously so it can take it take advantage of volatile rounds etc Galahorn because you guys know I love the Galahorn and even though void there is, there is that acute void burn, so you take 50% more void damage and you deal 25% more. So void rockets would seem like the play. But as you'll see, I've set my character up in such a way where I can get charged by like uh, rockets, I can get ardent ordnance. Uh, double void resist, it goes without saying, you're going to take 50% more void damage. So if you put two of these on, it negates void damage by 40%. Uh, Arden Ordnance, as you can see there, and I've got ele uh, Elemental or uh, Ordnance, so when I throw get kills with grenades, I'm going to drop an Elemental Well, and I've got Elemental Charge, so every time I pick up a Well, I'll get two Charge with Lights, which gives me two, uh, what they call God Slayer Warheads uh, from Arden Ordnance, which means that Galahorn's going to do 25, 20%, uh, is it 20% for 1, 15, 20%? more damage uh so it kind of negates the 25 percent more and with galahorn being the best rocket launcher in the game kind of helps with getting that damage damage done so as soon as you get in you're going to want to get on your spiral it goes without saying we just want to get past this first area as quickly as possible then we're going to be greeted with an overload uh which there's going to be an overload there's going to be a couple of invisibles a couple of shanks what the idea of this is you've got 25 minutes to score points now from 25 to 30 minutes you'll still score points but it'll be at half half the ratio and you'll lose points so we want to get through it because this this isn't a short strike you want to get through this as quickly as possible so we're just going to take out some of the the kind of trash mobs uh trash ads around the the overload and as you can see there my grenade rocket bang Overload's dead, and it'll kind of work like that with nearly all the ads. And I'm just gonna, I like to clear these ads out as quickly as possible. Let me just take out this guy here. You get a critical, you get a critical hit on on the ads. You get a critical hit on uh, on any of the the ads. These vandals. It's a one hit kill. Obviously, if you get a body, because we've got explosive payload on, explosive head, sorry. There he goes. He, he wanted none of that, so he decided to jump off the edge. Uh, if, you get, if you get a body on, uh, on ads that are together, obviously it will uh, damage both of them. So, you know, two bodies might kill, kill two ads. I pre-fired a nade, pre-threw a nade, as I've done there. And uh, what I want to do here, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting this champion low because I've got Lucent Finisher on. That gives me uh, heavy ammo and finishers. And we'll just... Now I've got my... Because I've got Bastion on, if I put my overshield on, if I, if I, if I put my barricade down, I'm going to get an overshield. But obviously, once I proc Volatile Rounds... If I'm getting kills with volatile runs, if I'm getting kills with the bow, the explosions that I've set up for, because I've got that fragment on, as you'd have seen in the setup, that uh, my obviously volatile runs makes them explode. When I get those explosive kills, I get health back. So I'm going to put this down here, throw a grenade on the overload. And when you're firing the rocket the way I just did there, be very careful that you don't clip the edge of your own uh, barricade. He'd managed to dodge out the way of that one there. I just, what, I'm not, 
I want to keep, if I can, I want to keep at least one rocket. So now I'm just going to ping them. And as you can see there, we're three minutes in, 20,000 score. We're, we're doing okay. There's there's the boss gone. So I'm going to run up to the, the left-hand side. I've got volatile rims now. I'll just shoulder charge him, and then all the rest of the ads are going to come from the other side. So if we can put some volatile rims on them, you see there, we just get that chain explosion. Easy money. And we'll just make light work of these before we move move along to the next section. The only thing that I, I, I would say that you kind of have to keep your eye on uh, so far, up to this point, just make sure that you're... You're being mindful of your heavy ammo, you know, because I've done this run maybe about three or four times and I completed it three times. One time I had set up wrong, so I come out and started again. The biggest, the biggest thing of the stop that, that I noticed in the other runs, which is obviously why I'm saying this to you now, is uh, if you run out of rockets at certain parts, it's going to make this a very difficult run because your rockets, obviously, for the boss damage and boss damage is really it, but it's 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 all time consumption. You've got to make sure that you're getting through this uh, in a decent time. And there that if you can put a grenade, because one of the fragments, again, if you look at the, the start, one of the fragments, just toss a grenade on those ads. One of the fragments I've got on uh, is my grenades weaken enemies. So if I put a grenade on a champion, the grenade and the rocket, that's, that's going to be all she wrote. Now, again, I've got my barricade should I need it. I'm, I'm trying to get the, the champion to come round. And Now, you see there, the champion dived out the way. He will do that. But unfortunately for him, Gallahorn is a little bit quicker than he is. Just going to take these vandals out so that I, I get a chance to finish these. Because when you break a champion shield, for anybody that doesn't know, and I know most of you know, but there will be people watching the video, maybe not too, you know, uh, clued up or, or, or informed on champions. When the barrier's got his shield up, he will shield any enemies around him. And they can still fire at you. So it's worthwhile that when you take a barrier shield down, that you take that opportunity, rather than finishing the champion or doing any of that, if there are ads that hit hard, take them out when you break the shield, and then when the barrier shield come back, when the barrier becomes active again, then you can take your shield back down. And as you probably noticed, the ball breaks the barrier shield with one hit, so you're not going to be standing slugging away trying to break the barrier shield. The other thing about barriers uh, is they, they, they take more damage. Like every other ad in the game, they take more damage from precision hits. So when you get in this area, you're going to have a whole host of shanks and vandals. And they're going to be kind of swarming all over the place. So from this corner here, I'm going to try and take most of them out. You see now I've got volatile rounds. And that really helps. See those explosions? Got my health back immediately, which is which is what you want. And we're going to have an overload champion come up over here. So, grenade. Galahom. Good night. Now, I always put a bow shot on as well, but you don't actually need it. But I do it as uh, instinct or, you know, it's insurance policy, making sure that, the, the you know, I know with putting a grenade and, and Galahom on, it's... It's kind of like, just like a talking gesture, putting a bow on as well. It's like the bow is going to kill him. But uh, all damage is good damage. Watch out for these spider mines as well. They can be slightly annoying. So I put, I always fire a rocket at the floor there. When you've got, any, because it's an, an arc captain, when you've got, you know, when you're doing stuff like this, you sometimes you've got to burn stuff like a galley you've got to burn that on on ads with with uh shields that you can't match and if you're doing that especially with captains they're very quick to teleport sometimes it's better just to put it on the floor the blast radius you know fire your rocket on the floor the blast radius from the galahorn will do massive damage it's 100 percent blast radius you've obviously got 
uh, wolf pack that's going to come off the back of that. Um, and uh, the wolf between the wolf pack and the explosion, you'll have no problem taking out an arc shield, even on match game. There are other things you can do that, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I don't have to say this, but I will. This is just the way I done it, you know, and you'll see it's, it's pretty efficient. I'm, I'm not going to say that there's, there's a better or there will obviously be different ways to do it. But uh, these weapons work really well in here, especially if you're doing big damage against champions or the boss. If you can couple it with uh, with a grenade on top, I've got grenades weaken enemies on, so they will take yellow numbers uh, from any sort of damage that you do on them. So when you're on this plate, you can see I haven't got off the plate. I'm not ducking in and out on the plate. I'm trying to clear the ads while I'm on the plate because it just makes this plate section go a little bit easier. When you come into this section solo, you will not be greeted with the usual shanks. You see there, there's the arc, arc guy. I don't have arc on, so anytime there's, there's an arc enemy, I'm going to have to galley if I want them down quickly. And and you can you can see there you can see on the floor, I've got I've got a decent amount of heavy, so I can burn a little bit. If I need to come back, I know it's there. So when you get to here, I just push up because as you can see, you know, you've got this these pillars on the side. If you've got volatile rounds like I have, getting kills gives you your health back. So I'm just gonna throw that need. Again, like I've already said uh, previously in the video, see there, he's just getting absolutely melted. There's your champion, so I'm just going to take any ads I can from here. I'm looking up at the snipers. We want to take as many of them out as we can. There'll be a couple of, see there, a couple of shanks. Now, what I found is the boss doesn't reset, no, not the boss, the champion doesn't reset his kind of, his tether on the ads and want to finish him I didn't have to I've got enough heavy behind me I didn't have to finish him but I wanted to just so I didn't have to run back for any heavy the heavy was in front of me I, would, I could keep going forward so we're just we're just trying to get this champion low and again wherever you're going to take him from make sure that any heavy ammo that the, 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 the barrier is going to provide any of the heavy you can actually get like don't finish him when he's when he's over uh when he's out in the open when he's you know over a drop so you can see there we, we've got him and when we get into this so that that's us at the boss when we get into the boss we one of the most important setups for this whole run is to make sure you get to the boss with full rockets you're gonna have to conserve them now we have got lucent finisher on so if we finish a champion, if we need to, and we need to finish a champion to get heavy, we have that capability. So I'm just going to, as I was saying, just put a rocket on the floor. He might teleport sometimes, but the rocket will still get him. And to start this encounter, off, you, have to, you have to go down the stairs to get the Hydra and yada yada. Now, another little tip about the, the Vex. The Vex are what, what is known as like Hive Mind. So when one of the Vex sees you, they'll all see you, including the Overlord. So I'm just putting a grenade there, and there you go. And that takes out the heavy duty ads. I'm going to go and get this. I can see I've got heavy there. I don't really want to be, just be picking up heavy just for the sake of it. Now, so let's explain how the boss fight works. You've got this uh, transcendent hydra, and then you've got big daddy hydra, right? To end the encounter, you have to kill big daddy hydra, right? But to bring out the next wave of ads, you have to bring out the hydra that's there. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to put my barricade up, and that gives me an overshield straight away because I know I've got stuff coming in here. So something... On this first run, you've got both. And and what you've got to do to get the... So, two two Minotaurs will come out to start with. Uh, and the the rest of them will come out when you do a certain amount of damage to, to this Hydra. I'm just going to put the grenade on them. 
Hopefully the grenade will deal with them. I don't want to challenge any more. There you go, the grenades dealt with them. I don't want to challenge any more adds until until that Hydra's gone. We're looking for, see if there's another overload. I think there is. But I actually think this one's just like a normal, there he is, just a normal red bar. So like I've been like I've been saying, when you first come into this area, you're going to get, once you, once you clear out the ads, you're going to get the two hydras that are going to come there. So we're overload there. I'll just put a grenade, rocket, good night. And he's dropped heavy, which is it's brilliant. So the first wave, you're going to get both hydras, right? You're going to get this, the big boss hydra. And then you're going to get the little transcendent hydra. For the first wave, it's the damage you do on the transcendent hydra that dictates the ads. So on Legend, on Master, they would both be overloads. Uh, on, on Legend, uh, there's one void and one overload. When you do so much damage to the little transcendent hydra, you get another overload and another void. It will work the same way in the second phase, but you'll have chickens and barriers. And I think it's, uh, I think it might be actually, no, no, just think about, it. I can't remember if it's Belmont that you've got to, uh, whether you get the transcendent in the next wave, but we'll find out when it, we'll both find out together. It's not like I never done this run. <laughs> so now you can see when, when, when they kind of go that, that kind of whitey kind of, uh, with that kind of white sheen over them. That's I'm getting ready to go. So what I've done is straight away I've come over uh, and 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 like I've said, this hive mind mentality. So I want I want to hit this chicken. Uh, I didn't want to hit the harpies in front of the chicken. So this kind of hive mentality that the the Vex have got, what that means is when one sees you, they all see you. Just take out that guy. And now what I'm wanting to do is I just want him to go there. Because I want to finish him if I can. There we go. Finishable. Hello. I'll take the heavy. Now there is there is actually a, a there is actually a perk. See the volatile rounds completely destroys the the arc shields. Even though we're on, we're on match game, got another sniper up. So once, so we've got the little transcendent. Uh, I'll just put a couple of rockets on him. I've got another rocket down there, I think. I just wait for him to uh, see the wolf pack hit him, but uh, sometimes it can be a little bit, uh, a little bit kind of weird to hit him just get past him there because of the shield and location of if he's moving and you're moving and we'll just put that down there if he's moving and you're moving and he moves in such a way you just you just really got to be careful you know not wasteful with rockets when it comes to uh, the wide runs you'll have noticed as well that i have not used my my shield jet and that is because I'm, I'm that focused on doing what I'm doing. I don't know where the other wyvern is. So I'm keeping the uh, my my shield just in case. There we go. That's the, the, the Hydra. The Transcendent one gone. So we know we've got... There goes that Hydra. So no, we know we've got two... We've got two more Hydras because of the damage we've done. So we've got a barrier as well. Because the damage we've done brings out the second wave of ads, which is exactly the same as the first wave, to be fair. So now we'll just break the barrier and throw a grenade. That gets that gets them down to finishable. And you see there, volatile rounds is <clears throat> really good for taking taking these ads out. So we'll just go up here. Yeah, I haven't used my, I haven't used my 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 shield. I'm saving it for that magic moment where a hydra, uh, 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 a 
chicken comes right up on top of me and I can just, oh, save myself. So there we go, he just walks walks past the, the grenade, one galley, and it's all... I've been, I've been pretty lucky with, with heavy ammo drops, which you need to complete this. Uh, but there... There is, there is, I mean, you do you do need to be lucky, but obviously with the Lucent Finisher on, you can you can make your own luck to a degree. And now we've just got Belmond. And I can creep up here. Again, be careful because you don't want to be uh, firing rockets and uh, we'll just put a grenade on them, which now we're just getting big yellow numbers. Nice. So I can afford maybe another rocket or two. We'll see what this rocket does. Now we've got the reinforcements. So we've got another overload, another void shielded uh, minotaur, and just trash, trash kind of adds. We missed them there. So we'll just put a couple of shots on here, try and clear some of the, some of the smaller waves, smaller adds. Now normally, as I've said with this hive mind mentality that the Vex have got, as I've said, when one sees you, they all see. I can see the over I can see the overload there. So I'm just gonna jump up here, take no chances. If he doesn't come round, which he did, I just break the shield of that guy. That's one of the Minotaurs gone. And now I've got my grenade. That's what I was waiting for. You can see I've got heavy outside. I put the grenade down as soon as Overload grenades are just so much better than overload weapons, especially, especially, uh, especially with the uh, when the overload weapons you've got are auto rifle and SMG. I, I just I'm not going to go into it too much, but I, I, I feel like they are the worst champion mods. Just put that down. I'm not really wanting to take too many chances. Although I, I took a pretty big chance there going to get that, that heavy. And I'm just like I, I'm just trying to get trying to get Belmond low. I don't know who he's shooting at, but uh he was he was he was intent on killing whoever he was shooting at, even though there's no one else but me here. So uh just gonna do a do a couple of shots here, just get Belmond to leave. I don't really want to use another rocket. I've got four, and now it's uh, KFC time. And I know I've got another brick of heavy down there, so we're just we're just gonna wait for one of them to come out. There we go, and that's that's one of the wide runs down. You can, as I say, you can go left and right. We'll put that there. I need to at least keep. Uh, I want him. I want to get rid of him now. If I can, it'd be nice to get rid of him. Don't want to use another, another heavy. You see there. I, what I done was I was firing. I'm just, I'm just using what ammo I've got without having to burn. You know, the the wide runs are always, they they are always the thing here. Just got to be mindful of them. So I want to keep. There we go. That's that's the transcendent Ming gone. So we're gonna get. We've still got a. We've still got a wide run somewhere. I think he's up up to the. There's there's a wide run there. So I just. There's one down. So I think there's still two, and we've got another brick there. There's there's one. Up on top. Wait for him to come round. So there is still a wyvern, and this is this is the exact scenario I was keeping. I'm keeping my 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 shield for. I didn't really need the shield at all. There's there's a barrier. Out of the vex milk, and I, I pretty soon I am gonna get hit. Chicken's gonna creep up on me. And there we go. I knew it would happen that he would, he would, uh, oh, you've just got to be careful of that. And because I didn't need my, my, uh, 
I didn't need my my barrier anywhere else. You see, you see the damage that that does to to champions. That uh, volatile rounds against champions, against any ads, really. I'm saying champions against any ads. It's super strong. No, I could have just killed the boss here, so I'm going to put a couple of rockets on. I could have just killed the boss here, but I want that barrier. So what I'm going to do, I'll put a, a rocket on. There we go. The bat, He's really low, but I want the barrier. So I'm going to try and separate the barrier from the boss. And you can see they, they both were just right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get one of them to move just for the platinum. I've already completed this, so I'm not going to get... It always seems to me you get, obviously, you get your 100k and your Nightfall completion reward. Uh, so I knew I wasn't going to get tons of rewards here, but I wanted the Platinum. Now I'm a, I, I don't really like, I don't really like the Vex, so I'm not going to allow a champion to stay alive. <laughs> so he wasn't getting a free run of this. He, he's, he's, he's got to go to sleep. So we're just trying to get Belmont to move. Oh, it's, I'm not going to need much to kill this this barrier. And I will just break his shield. And there we go. And now I can finish the boss. So a grenade on him. And that should be all she wrote. And there you go, guys. That is the 100k on, on uh, the Glassway. It's a pretty simple run. It's a pretty straightforward run. The weapons that are used seem to do the job really well. And, uh, yeah, apart from one moment where the Wyvern nearly snuck up on me, this is pretty much the way to do it. Uh, make sure that you're controlling the waves of ads by, you know, staggering your damage against the Hydras. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate your support as always. If you did enjoy the video, a like would really mean a lot. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next video.